Review lesson 22, we will be converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. So here are the steps. You multiply the denominator by the whole number. Add the numerator. The new number you create becomes the numerator. The denominator always stays the same. So here, we have 3 and 2 fifths. So remember, I'm going to multiply the denominator by the whole number, add the numerator. So 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So I have 17 fifths. Now this makes sense. Okay, here are my holes, right? So I've got three holes all filled in of fifths. So there's my whole number. Here's my one, here's my two, here's my three. Now I have two more fifths. So how many total fifths do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen fifths. All right, here's another one. 5 and 3 fourths. Remember, we're going to multiply and add. So 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23 fourths. So again, and we'll do this with circles now. And yes, you should be drawing this. So here, I now have, I have 5 holes, so I'm going to color in 5 holes that are broken into fourths because my unit fraction is fourths. Okay, so here's my one, two, three, four, and five holes. Now I have three more fourths. One, two, three. Here's my three fourths. How many total fourths do I have? Well, let's count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 25, 20, 21, 22, 23. That makes sense. Sorry, guys. So 23 fourths, okay? <laughs> All right, let's try another one. 9 seven, and 2 seventeenths. So multiply, add. I don't know 9 times 17 off the top of my head, so I'm going to do some multiplication. 7 times 9 is 63. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 6 is 15. Now I need to add, right? Multiply 9 times 17 and then add. So I have 5, 5, 1. So 155, goodness, that's the second mistake in a row. 155, and remember my denominator stays the same. All right, let's do this one. 10 and 1 seventh. So multiply, add. 7 times 10 is 70 plus 1 is 71 sevenths, right? 10 times 7 plus 1. There it is. And the denominator stays the same. Here is your turn. Convert these, in, these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Thank you for your hard work and your forgiving attitude for Ms. Jemison's mistakes, and I will see you tomorrow.